We are also on Weibo. Please check us out for more great videos. Being the dominant streaming video titan doesn't come cheap. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most expensive Netflix originals. Are you a werewolf? Before we begin, this video is made in partnership with Sotheby's. If you're interested in seeing more videos about super valuable items, subscribe to Sotheby's channel on YouTube. For this list, we're looking at 10 of the most expensive Netflix originals. For the purposes of our ranking, we'll only be including shows and specials that Netflix has exclusively distributed, so programs that aired on other networks before being picked up by Netflix will not be included. We also won't be including Netflix original movies, so Say Bright will not be included, despite its hefty $90 million price tag. We also won't be including shows without a definitive budget, so Altered Carbon also won't be on this list, despite looking incredibly expensive. Number 10, The Defenders. What are you made of? Just remember, you started this. Airing various Marvel properties is quite expensive, although perhaps not quite as expensive as you may think. Variety reports that Netflix shelled out $200 million to produce their Marvel shows. This may sound like a lot of money, but you have to consider that this covers Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and The Defenders. While the exact numbers are unknown, we can theorize that Netflix evenly spread the $200 million budget throughout all five shows, resulting in a $40 million price tag for each individual property. It's a surprisingly small budget, especially when you consider that this money is stretched throughout 13 hours of content. What's the deal with that fist? I earned it. Number 9. Orange is the New Black Seriously? Yep, it's a head-scratcher, but that's what we got. And here we have a show well worth its pricey investment. Orange is the New Black was one of the first Netflix exclusives, and is now their most watched original program. It's also one of their most critically successful, winning a boatload of Emmy, American Film Institute, and Peabody Awards. Variety revealed that each episode costs around $4 million to produce, or a grand total of about $50 million per season. And this was back in 2013. The price tag is undoubtedly higher now that the show has received such high acclaim. A three-time SAG award-winning ensemble doesn't come cheap, you know. I was branded, okay? Number 8. House of Cards I like irons, but I love fire. House of Cards was the first original dramatic content by Netflix, and what an introduction it was. Starring incredible actors such as Robin Wright and the now-disgraced Kevin Spacey, and produced and directed by David Fincher, House of Cards was a mega-success that earned multiple accolades and put Netflix on the map. And, quite unsurprisingly, it came with a hefty budget. CAA agent Peter Maselli unveiled at a UCLA press conference that House of Cards initially cost Netflix $4.5 million an episode, or nearly $60 million a season. However, the budget understandably soared afterwards, thanks to the numerous accolades and continued involvement of big-name actors and filmmakers. We're just getting started. Number 7. Dave Chappelle, Equanimity and The Bird Revelation I'm not saying it to be mean. I'm saying it because it's funny. Dave Chappelle is clearly a hot commodity. Chappelle was at his peak in the mid-2000s, with his massively successful sketch comedy program earning both immense popularity and critical acclaim. However, he eventually walked away from the show and all but disappeared from existence for a decade. All right, fellas, I'm out. <laughs> he finally hosted Saturday Night Live in 2016 and returned to stand-up via Netflix after 12 years in 2017. And they paid the hilarious comedian a pretty penny for it, too. According to an insider, Netflix reportedly paid Chappelle $60 million for three exclusive stand-up specials. Now that's how you know you're in demand. Every night before I come out on stage, I'll be backstage like, I'm sure this is gonna go well. <laughs> Number 6. Stranger Things The Demogorgon! <laughs> Bringing the 80s to life in the 2010s, not to mention making convincing monsters and otherworldly dimensions, is not a cheap endeavor. The first season of their hit show cost Netflix $6 million an episode, or just under $50 million for the season. However, the show was a huge success, leading to an increased budget of $8 million per episode for the second season, or $72 million for all nine episodes. We think their investment was worth it. The show is now one of their biggest draws. It has garnered acclaim and accolades, and has made movie stars out of its young cast. We'd call that a success any day. Are you okay? Yeah, I just... I needed some air. Come on, 
Number five, Jerry before Seinfeld. Are you kidding me? Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee is not a Netflix original. In fact, it appeared on Sony's Crackle for five years. However, it was part of a major exclusivity deal that Netflix signed with Seinfeld for an astounding $100 million. Included in the deal were the airing rights to Comedians in Cars, 24 new episodes of the show, and two exclusive stand-up specials, one of which, Jerry Before Seinfeld, was released in 2017. So we moved out from the city to on Long Island. You don't live in Long Island, you live on Long Island. Netflix must see huge returns on their stand-up specials, because this is silly money. The only reason it isn't higher is because we're not sure how much money is allocated to each program, one of which is not a Netflix original. I'm getting a little lightheaded right now, actually, just thinking about it. It was so amazing. Number four, Marco Polo. Emperor of China. Emperor of Mongolia. I will be emperor of the world. While Hemlock Grove may have been Netflix's first failure, Marco Polo is undoubtedly their biggest and costliest. In 2014, Netflix tried taking a piece of the historical drama pie that Game of Thrones was dominating. Yeah, we know Game of Thrones is not actually historical. And they desperately wanted to succeed, so much so that they pumped a massive $90 million into the first 10 episodes alone. This made it the second most expensive TV show in history, behind only its main competitor. In Kung Fu, we say, one hand lies. <laughs> The other hand tells the truth. However, the show failed to make the necessary ripples throughout popular culture. In fact, it was largely ignored, and it was cancelled after just two incredibly expensive seasons. What greater tribute can a man offer than his own flesh and his own blood? Just a reminder to subscribe to Sotheby's channel for more videos featuring some of the most valuable treasures on Earth. Number 3. Sense8 Yes, my love. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Sense8 was Netflix's big attempt at a science fiction epic. It contained a huge ensemble cast of characters and was created by the Wachowskis, the brilliant minds behind The Matrix, one of the greatest sci-fi films of all time. Unfortunately, the first season received a little attention or critical appreciation, and the show was cancelled after just two seasons and a grand finale. And it's not hard to see why. Each episode of the second season reportedly cost $9 million to produce, for an overall cost of roughly $108 million for the entire season. It's incredibly hard to justify spending $100 million plus dollars on a show that very few people watch. It is not a game. This is a war. Number 2. The Get Down Why do you need the record? It's for the Get Down. What's the Get Down? You don't know what The Get Down is? The Get Down is one of Netflix's most ambitious projects to date. Created by playwright Stephen Adley Gurgis and visionary director Boz Lerman, it tells the story of the rise of disco and hip-hop in 1970s New York. Unfortunately, the production process was plagued with difficulties, and the initial budget of $7.5 million per episode exponentially ballooned up to $120 million for the whole season. And that's with the state tax incentives factored in. Unfortunately, the show was a huge bomb and was swiftly cancelled. Luckily, Netflix has no regrets regarding the show, with the vice president of original content calling it, quote, one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. <laughs> Number one, The Crown. My name is Elizabeth. And long live Queen Elizabeth. Just taking one look at The Crown is enough to see why this is number one. Every facet of the show is exquisitely detailed and meticulously correct, from its first-rate actors to its stunning sets to its gorgeous costumes. It's extraordinary stuff to look at, and it understandably costs Netflix truckloads of cash. The first season alone reportedly cost an unbelievable $130 million, making it the most expensive TV show ever produced. Luckily, their investment proved fortuitous, as The Crown was enormously popular and critically acclaimed, especially for its acting and production design. Sometimes the massive investments do pay off. Like the hat. It's not a head, it's a crown. This video is made in partnership with Sotheby's. Click the link below to subscribe to their channel for more cool videos.